Hello everybody. So welcome back to another video of Gyan Gurukul E Classes. Today we are going to discuss about a chapter called Motion in One D. So one dimensional motion of Kungu topics is very important. Why Kungu topics are important? I mean numerical emphasis to basically be there. We'll discuss on that part initially, and basically we'll come back to conceptual graphical questions and all other things. So the chapter Motion is actually divided into two parts motion in 1d and motion in two dimension so motion in two dimension would be discussed later once you are done with motion in 1d so motion in 1d first of all topic wise jodi ami segregate koribo lage ei guti chapter tu tikhole ami first emphasis eta topic opor dibo lage that deals with equations of motion now we all know there are three equations of motion so those three equations if i state it accordingly so equations are v equals to u plus at s equals to ut plus half at squared and v squared equals to u squared plus 2 as these are the three equations of motion where v implies final velocity u implies initial velocity a implies acceleration t implies time and s implies distance or displacement accordingly to the question now basically three the equations are or ami sobe familiar hoy but it's very important that eight in the equations so ami kenike apply koru belik belik dhoroner equations are so now i'm going to state some of the equations so eight in the equations kenike belik belik accordingly change hoy these equations so okay we'll be discussing those concepts okay so let us go for those treatment now first of all when i'm talking about 1d motion 1d motion or any kind of or motion included ho pare so 1d motion or either it can be horizontal motion or vertical motion now horizontal motion can be ho pare either it might be towards your right side or it might be towards your left side that is on the horizontal axis or the x axis you can say लिखीसिटी S equals to u t plus half a t square, v square equals to u square plus two a s. Now, let me say that we have four different types of motion: right way horizontal motion, left way horizontal motion, upward vertical motion, downward vertical motion. Now, let us say that eight inter equations, eight inter cases, or sub category, we can divide them into four parts. So, first of all, let us assume the horizontal cases. So, when we consider the horizontal cases. इक्वेशंस किता आमे एक्चुअली डायरेक्टली यूज करियो पर ओके इन फॉर बोथ ऑफ द राइट वे और द लेफ्ट वे मोशंस द थ्री इक्वेशंस एक्चुअली रिमेन सेम v इक्वल्स टू u प्लस at s इक्वल्स टू ut प्लस हाफ at स्क्वायर v स्क्वायर इक्वल्स टू u स्क्वायर प्लस 2 as दिस इज बेसिकली द सेम सेट ऑफ इक्वेशंस दैट यू आर यूजिंग नाउ यहां पे डायरेक्शनली जो आमे वेलोसिटी टू कंसीडर करू विद मैग्नीट्यूड एन ए डायरेक्शन तिथिया हमें जस्ट ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन होय गले The sign for velocities would change, and accordingly, acceleration or sign to change will also. Now, there is no further differences when you use the set of equations for horizontal motion. But when you use the same set for vertical motions, there are different subcategories. So, I am basically how to analyze for you. So, the main emphasis of this set of equations are actually for vertical analysis of motion. So, now let us deal with that. so when we talk about vertical motion as i already said there might be two kinds of vertical motion an upward vertical motion or a downward vertical motion now the set of equations which are initially v equals to u plus at s equals to ut plus half at square and v square equals to u square plus 2 as these equations would change a little bit when we first initially use it so yate acceleration is denoted by the letter a But when we talk about vertical motion, the role of acceleration is actually played by gravity. So gravity, now as you all know, gravity has a constant value. It's not actually constant; it changes accordingly to the surface of the Earth. But right now, for this particular chapter, I mean, it's constant. Will you mind me? So G is 
9.81 meter per second square or for numerical emphasis we will actually take, take it as 10 meter per second square okay now yate is the acceleration or roll hoy in terms of vertical motion that roll is played by gravity so it is gravity at a particular direction as and that direction is always directed towards the center of the earth matlab the gravity always acts downward so when we use this set of equations in upward motion first of all a would be replaced by g but since g has a downward motion so when you use the same set of equation for a upward vertical motion g would automatically be negative okay hence the set of equation would look like v equals to u minus gt s equals to ut minus half gt square and v square equals to u square minus 2 gs okay now the next thing is what happens when you deal with the equations with the downward motion so it's basically very simple the equations would look like what it would look like v equals to u plus gt s equals to ut plus half gt square or v square equals to u square plus 2 gs now this is just the general consideration i mean general set of jt use kuru ami any equations kira use kori bolibo now yate kisuan jodi condition sahi jay tete hole equations of kisuan bostu zero ho jay kisuan bostu maximum point ola hi jay so now let us analyze ki hebo situations kete ahi bo pare okay now let us say ki we have a situation like this suppose it is said that there is a building at the top of which there is a person carrying a ball okay now there might be various situations or various questions according to this situation so can you can you one of questions arise over here so any other case so over here so it is just said that the ball is dropped or else drop no koi pela ami eneko ko paru je the ball is let loose freely or the ball is falling freely in the atmosphere or in the air towards the ground now in that case is or we need to first understand that it is going to motion of pare jodi ball to tolo loi pare obviously we are talking about downward vertical motion so downward vertical motion jodi hoy we know ki the set of equation jun bura ami use korim those will be v equals to u plus gt s equals to ut plus half gt square and v square equals to u square plus 2 gs let us know this now since the ball is dropped so drop hole kene ko ho pare situation so drop hole it only signifies je mo bostur ko eku initial velocity impart kora nai so bostur ko je mo eku initial velocity ni diu etia le ki bujabo he situation to u equals to 0 bujabo so if the u is 0 at that particular point then how these equations look like jo jo u ase that the particular term would be zero hence the complete set of equation would look like v equals to gt s equals to half gt square and v square equals to 2 gs okay hence this is the set of equation when you are dealing with a situation like such now zone to situation of a to kotha drop no koy pa line thrown boli koy dia so we need to very much put our emphasis on the words that are used in the question question of kunburi words use kara hoy tate tare upor ami bahut downward consideration dibo lage so in that sense if we say that the ball is thrown in that case u zero no hoy so in that case if the u is not zero tete hole this particular set would remain as it is when we deal with this particular question yate u at a particular value thakibo and we should also understand ki difference ki hobo pare jodi ball to drop hole hoy aru ball to thrown hole hoy ki ki differences hobo pare the differences hobo je if the ball is dropped jodi ball to drop koile hoy zone to velocity re suppose fall koile hoy he to suppose v1 and if the ball is thrown hit four kora pichot jodi to all velocity re ball to hit koile hoy suppose that is v2 so now if you are asks a to the velocity er majot kuntu velocity beshi hobo you should very much logically understand that obviously a to velocity a to velocity ke ki hobo beshi hobo because this would come with a higher velocity when it throw the ball and in the other way around if i say that time t1 is the time taken for the ball to fall during dropping condition and t2 is the time for the ball to fall during throwing condition tetale kuntu time beshi hobo in that case time t1 to beshi hobo kele because jete ball to ami drop koru tetale tak beshi time lagi hobo ri bole so these are direct ask questions so able question of kind ami question to solve kori sabo na lage okay so you should understand those important things in the question that jodi amar question to any kind condition of pore it's not even necessary that ami question to kori bole ami initial velocity side pele ami directly answers koribo paru tale okay so these are some of the important things when you deal with the set of equations so we'll be talking about some other situations also in the later times thank you